Hello humanoids, Halfling Hannah here from HalflingHobbies.com, where we have everything you need to create environments that inspire adventure. Today, I want to talk about potions of healing. Potions of healing are something your players are always going to be looking for. From level 1 to level 20, they can literally be lifesavers. You can bet that when your party goes to town, they're going to be trying to find a couple of potions of healing to keep on them just in case something bad goes down. So, the next time your party goes into town and asks about potions of healing, how cool would it be to pull out your very own drinkable potions of healing for your party to enjoy? Today, I'm going to teach you how to make your own potion of healing bottles, as well as some cocktails and mocktails that are literally magical. and you won't believe how easy they are. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need, you're going to need some kind of bottle. As you can see here, I have a variety that you can choose from, from these small ones with just a little bit of twine on them, to large bottles for your whole party to share, to these medium-sized bottles that I put labels on. So you'll need to find them. You can easily find them at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, Amazon, anywhere like that. If you're looking for my recommendations, I suggest you go to halflinghobbies.com where you can see all of the things that I made and buy them for yourself to get the exact same result. So you're going to need a bottle. You're going to need some twine to give it a little bit of an old world feel. If you would like, you can get a label. And then for the drink itself, to make a mocktail version of Potions of Healing, you will only need three things some sparkling white grape juice. Make sure you get white, not red, otherwise the effect won't happen. Some pomegranate juice or cherry juice, raspberry juice, any kind of red juice that you can add to your cocktail. And magic dust. This stuff is called luster dust. It is edible glitter that dissolves in liquid while still maintaining its shine. You can easily find this at Hobby Lobby, or you can find a larger version on Amazon and save a little bit of money. You can find this in the link below this video where I put the Amazon link there for you. And that's it. Carefully mix those together using a funnel in your bottle and you have your very own mocktail potion of healing. Now, as you notice, after a little while, the effect settles just a bit. It stops moving. When the liquid stops moving, you don't get as much of a shine. A quick stir brings it right back to life. Or if you have one of these small bottles, just give it a shake and you can see that beautiful glitter start to move again. Absolutely spellbinding. If you're looking to make an adult version of Potions of Healing, sim simply substitute your sparkling white grape juice for champagne. My recommendation is Toad Hollow, which you can find at McAdoodles for about $14, which is very reasonable. Champagne gets this stigma of being only for the rich and being super expensive, but you don't have to spend a lot to get a really good bottle of champagne. Toad Hollow proves that. You can also pick up any version of sparkling wine and it will do the same thing, but again, make sure that it's white wine, not red, or you won't be able to see the glitter. Finally, if I'm using one of these small bottles with the cork, I like to tie a little bit of twine over the top to make it feel like it came straight from a potion shop. This little carrier I got at Hobby Lobby and it came with six bottles with corks. I just glued some twine around the top and then mod podge these labels on here. I made my own labels using Canva, which you can see here. And you're welcome to use my label. Simply go to halflinghobbies.com and search for Potions of Healing, and you can find and download my labels there and use them on your own bottles. Make sure if you're 
gluing labels onto your bottle that you put a layer of Mod Podge over the top to seal it in so that these become waterproof. Otherwise, you'll be redoing your labels a lot, and that's a bit of a bummer. If you Mod Podge over the top of it, though, these become washable and reusable, so you can use them as many times as you want. My party absolutely adores this drink and requests it a lot, so I end up using these bottles a lot, which is also why I made this big one, so that the party can just share it and pour it into their cups as they want. They really seem to enjoy that, especially because when you pour it, the glittering effect is magnified and it's a, like a little bubbling cauldron of magic. They just love to watch it. Warning though, when you first bring these out, expect your campaign to be derailed for a solid 10 to 15 minutes as the party is just going to be mesmerized by this. I mean, I certainly was. They're going to spin the bottle, they're going to look at it and just watch that beautiful glittering effect. These potions are truly magical and will elevate any campaign in the simplest way. But shh, don't tell everyone. We wouldn't want them to know our secret now, would we? If you want a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make the bottles and the drink with pictures, just go to halflinehobbies.com and search for Potions of Healing. I've made a really detailed tutorial there for you. So make sure that you like and subscribe to Halfling Hobbies and check out halflinehobbies.com where we have everything that you need to create environments that inspire adventure. Remember, we're here for you, Dungeon Master. Until next time, may your game have advantage. Halfling Hannah here, signing out.